Welcome to another episode of Wi-Fi. Today we are going to be just kind of talking about these numbers in general and what they sort of mean in this root mathematics. Just want to start off by giving a little bit of history on these numbers so that we know where they're coming from. Apparently it all begins in ancient Egypt and it was known as the Ennead. And the Ennead is just basically defined as a group or a set of nine items or things. And in ancient Egypt, the Ennead represented the nine gods and goddesses. According to our history, the numbers were invented by two mathematicians in India. And they first came up with the combination of the ten digits and its place value system. Fibonacci also introduced the Arabic numbers to Europe in the 12th century. So Fibonacci is actually very important when it comes to our number system, which is kind of interesting given that we have a Fibonacci spiral and then vortex math comes out of these numbers that Fibonacci brought over. So I just quickly want to cover what these uh, nine digits represent to me, or to the root system I guess, and how I see them, and their importance to uh, reality. I mean they are just numbers, but they also have some kind of representation to reality also, it's kind of, kind of amazing. And it's uh, almost like they're archetypes teaching you something. So I guess we'll start off with by listing the numbers out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 down like this, and then we write the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8 up like so, we basically line them up into their four pairs that equal 9. By doing this, we've established their relationships and what they mean. We know that 3 and 6 are related to each other in an alternating way. So 3 is always flipping back and forth and so is 6 are always flipping back and forth between their negative and their positive. And 9 is kind of like a placeholder that holds everything together. And all these other numbers here, 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 4 and 5, they're kind of like numbers that appear because of the 3 and the 6. So it's almost as if it's starting with the 9, then the 9 splits into 3 and 6, and then the rest of the numbers come out from that split there. You can almost look at these numbers as being male and female to each other. These pairs, where you have one side being the masculine, one side being the feminine, and they always want to be with each other. These numbers are always with each other, specifically in this root mathematics that we're discussing. According to this model, the 3 and the 6 actually represent the negative and the positive electric energy, or perhaps the magnetic energy, since it appears that, according to my research, electricity is spawned from magnetism, and not the other way around. So from this we have 3 and 6, representing our alternating poles, and the 3 and the 6 representing magnetism kind of makes sense because According to our number spiral here, the threes and the sixes are hidden, so and magnetism is something you can't see, so it almost kind of makes sense. Magnetism is the hidden force, the hidden scaffolding that's holding everything else together. Another number pair that seems to represent the scaffolding or the structure is one and eight. According to the uh, Fibonacci number spiral, one and eight kind of also represent the structure in between the rest of the number. It's almost as if there's only two pairs that really matter, and that is 4 and 5, 2 and 7. And to me, if you haven't figured it out already, it's pretty clear that this arrangement of numbers, these two digits, 2 and 7, 4 and 5, and these two numbers have to be with each other, 2 and 7 have to be with each other, 4 and 5 have to be with each other or else they don't equate to 9, so it's kind of like telling us that these two belong together, according to this 9 rule. And so the only thing that I can think of in nature that kind of represents this, this archetype, is DNA. The structure, the very structure of our DNA is almost represented by the 9 digits of our, of our number system. You have the 4 character 
DNA letters, T, A, C, and G, being represented by 2 and 7, 4 and 5. Then you have the magnetism being represented by 3 and 6, and which is what DNA is, every part of your DNA is magnetic. And then you have the skeleton, or the zipper, that's running down the two strands that are running against each other. And the zipper, and the number 9, could be representing this zipper down the center which is unzipped at incredibly, incredibly fast speeds. It's, it's incredible how fast DNA replicates. And so we have a number spiral that's showing a doubling sequence, which is what our cells do, they double. That's basically the function of a cell is to divide itself into another one. And that is it. And then you have this Fibonacci spiral that's representing growth and continuous growth and which is in a spiral sequence just like our DNA is in a spiral sequence and so it's pretty clear to me that nine digits are actually a representation of DNA and it was kind of like a neat little mystery for us to solve and, and discover all on our own eventually in time and pretty simple actually when you just reduce the numbers down to their most basic component and not have them represent a value of something like five apples you know because the number five and the number four are actually representing these two amino acids in our DNA I'm not clear which ones are which you know, if 2 is T and 7 is A, I, I'm not too sure, but it's, it's clearly representing a model of our DNA. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, for those who've stuck around this long to, uh, to listen to me babble. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you think I'm full of it. Or maybe if you have a different idea on what these numbers represent. Of course, it represents a lot more than just that, but that's what I find to be the most, the closest to reality. I'm also going to get more into it, I'm um, going to go into more details in some other videos about the magnetism of it all. Anyway, thank you for sticking around, I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content. And we'll see you next time on Wi-Fi.